He treated me like a king, bro. It's just a peace of mind. I consider myself an OG. I've had my passport since 2001. What you the Philippines, man? What happened? Cause I remember you wrote me a story before. Without him, he trying to get the tears coming right now. He wanted simple things: quietness, drainage, and cooperation. But you date the foreigner. <laughs> Every time Terrence comes to town, he's ready to chill. Welcome back to the Black Filipino TV. Now today, we're with my man, T-Dog. What's going again, on with you? Once again, cheated us last time. What's we going on with to, you? Uh, FIBA. Ronde Hollis Jefferson at FIBA World Cup 2023. <laughs> People, fun. That's what we do. 12,000 views and 12,000 likes. Y'all are BSing right now. I'm telling you, y'all are BSing. Today, what's the name of this restaurant? Odu? Oedo. Oedo. It sounds just like it sounds. Like, like, it, like it looks, yeah. Oedo. What's your name, Tay? Adam. What's your name? Adam. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. My two friends, my, my 10 subscribers. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. <laughs> You have a YouTube channel, by the way? Yeah, but I don't monetize it. It's uh, M R T L M A Y E S. You know, I just show my family and stuff like that. It keeps my morale up because I work overseas. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. check me out. It's not monetized. I'm not trying to get anything off of it. It's just for fun, you know, and to, um, you know, just reminisce on my family and time. So good times. Every time Terrence comes to town, he's ready to chill. That's what I do. Right? So. That's what I do. I'm happy the man's here, but I want to know. Cause Kay was asking him before this. So what brought you to the Philippines, man? What happened? Cause I remember you wrote me a story before. But it's better cause I was gonna tell that story without him. He trying to get the tears coming right now. I got him here with me. He's still trying to bring the tears. This now dude, he can tell his story. He's like the he's like the Oprah right now. He's the, who, who makes people cry? He gonna have me crying like Dick Vermeil in football. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Initial, so I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be respectful. I just kind of, kind of summarize it. So I was in a situation where I thought I was gonna go somewhere. I felt like it, I wasn't appreciated. Things just didn't work out. Me and that person are cordial now, but I just, you know, I was actually looking at Kevin Samuels to be honest with you. That's why I looked at and as far as to try to better myself. And then I started looking at other people. It happened organically where I just. You know, I just decided, hey, I'm going to make the journey, I'm going to make the trip there. And I was talking to a young lady at the time, it didn't, it didn't work out, but I said, always said that I was going to come here. And I also served in the military, and I didn't have an opportunity to go to the Philippines, but I had an opportunity to serve in Japan, you know, and go to Singapore and places like that. So Philippines has always been on my register. But see, he, he talks with a purpose. Sometimes people like me, they'll talk and then it's not with a purpose. After about five minutes, she's like, this dude, all right, okay, I'm cool. I'm cool, all right. <laughs> you know, he talks with a purpose, though. He gets he gets to somewhere. Me, yeah, sometimes yeah. I talk, even my kids tell me, and it's like, it just, you know, doesn't really serve substance. So, <laughs> so the meat and potatoes are the story that made you say you want to date out here. What made you decide to date okay. and leave Ooh. things behind? <laughs> in the west Juice. and say okay. I want to date mm. here mm. okay as I'm dropping the napkin so my first experience what they call yellow fever mm -hmm. uh, Asian uh, persuasion was back in 2000 I served in um, as I said I served in Japan and I had a woman who was actually 15 17 years older than me and she treated me like a king. I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm 20 years old, what, 20, 21 years old, and she's treating me like great. And from that relationship, what I took to me was that, okay, this 15 is- 15 years old? 
Mm-hmm. 15 years old. 15 years old. So Ooh. for me, I knew people in the military. This is the thing, right? You don't want to get caught up like that. Cause you have, even back then, you had the whole, okay, well, they're trying to get their green card and whatnot. Mm. So for me, I'm like, okay, well, maybe she's trying to come up. Yeah. So I said to myself, I know the standards, how I want a woman. I want her to be like this. Yeah. But I'm 20 some years old. I got the, all the time in the world. Yeah. It turns out. She was a great example of what I probably should have invested into and I, I, did, I didn't do it at the time. Mm-hmm. So, But that's what, when it started for me, actually, back in, especially back in 2000, where I got a taste of that, what they call the yellow fever, because yeah. of how she treated She treated me like a king, bro. Mm. She treated me like an absolute king. So that's where it, the seed, the mustard seed, was playing, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's a great mustard seed Man, to get treated like a king bro, by yeah, women older yeah, too. They know how to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, older women are more mature anyway, you know, than us. But just the fact of that and the tradition and the respect, mm-hmm. it's just on another level. And unfortunately, I put that, you know, on women that I met. This is, I, I put that blueprint on women that I met to say, okay, this is how women want to be. And that yeah. was unfair. You know, but that's the standard that she laid. That's the foundation that she laid. So. Oh, so you was corrupted a long time <laughs> yeah, ago. Yeah, corrupt, yeah, yeah. From women in the West. Bro, back not in, corrupted, but you was put on. Bro, back in, so I left Japan the first time, and I went to England next back in 2003. And that's where it just, bro, she planted a seed on me where, like, this is where I want my wife to be. Yeah, yeah. And that's how I started. So it was way before 2000, and, you know, I came here 2021 the first time. It yeah. was way before that. Mm-hmm. I knew before, and I just said, okay, this is how, I don't, it wasn't no race, so I, I just wanted a woman, yeah. period, to be like that. She set the example, yeah. not just because, and I say yellow fever, not just because she's yeah. Asian, but I get this is the standards that I want a woman to be like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. And that's, that's wild because always the military guys, man. Military guys yeah, man. always learn early. Yeah. This is the way. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> they always learn it because... They get out and they, they just on their travels, right? They just ba- base somewhere, they're the base, and then they meet somebody. You always you can't you can't not meet somebody like it's just there. And usually you find women that are looking to meet with the guys at the base. Mm-hmm. So that's what happened to them. Yep. So more about that, man. So like, I'm gonna we'll know how was the experience. Like, how did she? She seduced you or just took care of you, <laughs> fed you? Like, so, oh, oh, yeah. oh man, look, I don't want to get graphic. Yeah, let me grab it. Yeah. You're monetized, right? Yeah. So she just did. <laughs> okay. So I'll say this, man. One thing as a poor male, yeah. least I can say, there's two things. Well, as the food comes out. Oh, look, you got to get, get the scan on the food. This is going to get taken out, but if you see this food, it's just a, a plethora. If I say that correct, the word correctly, I probably didn't. I do have a bachelor's degree, but you have to question the the, 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 the college I got it from. Tell me it was this These guys are about to go, guy and gal are about to go in. This is enough. That's enough for like four to five people right now. They are just, I'm commentating on the food right now. No. I thought I had a lot of food, but they have enough food for a small village. I'm not gonna even lie to you right now, but this is gonna get edited out. It's all good. It is what it this is. Gonna get edited out. But um, yeah. So, oh, back, so to, back to back to okay. Me. So the details. All right. So three things for us as yeah, men, yeah. at least I can say, respect. Oh, this is too graphic. I yeah. mean, okay, respect, drain, and stomach full. Drain. We're very. Your twins are drained. <laughs> and your stomach is full and you got respect. I'm very simple. It don't take that much for me. It don't take that much for me, bro. That's all, bro. Stomach full, the thing, the twins are drained, and I got respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just it. I'm not, I'm not hard, man. I'm yeah. not hard. I've, I've, I've been with women that are considered sumo wrestlers. I've been with women that consider sticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but those three things, if, you, if you're doing that, man, I'm cool. Yeah. For the most part, man, I'm cool. You know, I gotta keep it, you know, well, PG thirteen. And, and it makes sense because men men are very simple. Yeah. Men are very simple and he wanted simple things. Right? Quietness, drain, drainage, and cooperation. Quietness, drainage, and cooperation. And sometimes the sexiness even comes after that. It's true. Sexiness does help with the drainage. Yeah. But 
if it's not so sexy, the cooperation, the friendliness, and whooping up a meal, and then drainage, sometimes that works too. So I get them, I get them with that. But you're working outside the laundry right I'm currently working overseas. I am in the Middle East. Um, I've been doing it now for, I've been working overseas for three years. Um, and I've been in my line of work for um, over 20 years. So, yeah. But I've been working overseas generally for the three years. And that's where I've had an opportunity to go and come here to the Philippines. I've been to the Philippines probably like six times now. I've been here an absurd amount of times. And I've definitely enjoyed myself. It's not... And I, I just want to say, it's not for the reason that people think. People think it's all about, you know, soiling your oats and stuff like that. It's just a peace of mind. It's to relax. I mean, Jay told you when I came last time, I came for the fever. I had a great time. and got one of the best massages, no happy endings, that I ever had in my life. Like, it's just, it's just cool. It's peaceful. You meet people that you, that you learn to love and respect. It's cool. Can't get specific on the job, but what I can say is that I am, I am supporting, you know, with with government and and whatever those local you know governments are but it does based on on uh, some form of support because people may think like you working in an actual day like nothing the salary is not it's different so jay has mentioned this so i'm gonna give him i'm gonna give him some props so the key you want and i'm saying in my own i'm probably saying in my own words but he's mentioned i, I do watch my brother um the key is you want to get a u.s salary overseas if you can cop a u.s salary overseas you're good to go mm -hmm. and for me too i'm for i just turned 43 today happy birthday to me yeah 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 uh so the key is to get a um for me i'm gonna I, I plan on eventually talking to jay whenever i do plan on transitioning the money is right right now but eventually i will have a conversation with him to say look i'm 60 i'm 65 i know i'm making good money but bro i'll take a quarter of that to just a peace of mind because I don't want to sit here and retire and then die five years later. You know, I want to enjoy at least the last quarter, you know, or last fifth of my life. So we have a friend in the building. She's very shy. She. <laughs> you consider yourself as a passport right? Yes, I do. Uh, but I, I consider myself an OG. Yeah, yeah, OG, because yeah. I've been, I've had my passport since 2001. I was in the military 2000. I know people say, well, mil military guys can't be passport bros, but they are BS because I actually served overseas. My first experience was, you know, actually my first legitimate command was overseas in Japan, Sasebo, Japan. So I do consider myself as one very proud one, but I'm an OG one. You know what I'm saying? Respect me. I've been doing this over two decades, so yeah. 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 Do you have any message to them? Give them, you know, courage. I know. What's your message? That's a good question. So for me, look, I know this whole it's, there's a thing where people are jumping and want to get their passports, but take care of everything you have at the crib first. So if you have your responsibilities, you have your family, you have your education. Take care of everything on the home front first, and then once you do that, you can make that journey overseas. So the passport rolls, jumping into that is more for somebody that's a young age. But if you have, you know, you're in your 20s, you're in your 30s, etc., 40s, take care of your responsibilities first at the crib. And once you do that, then you can make that journey overseas. But I do know there's situations where there's people who go overseas for vacation. Um, I would say just do your research, do your homework, you know, watch Jay, watch your channel, watch various channels to get an idea specifically of what you want to do, where you want to go, and just don't, you know, don't make the mistake. Just do your research and do your homework first. But, you know, the world is large, the world is big, enjoy it, and, you know. The world is not leaving you. You'll be the one. The yeah. world will be there. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah, don't yeah. Like the yeah. Right? But, but I would say, before, look, but, don't, but, but I would say, too, don't drag your feet. Don't procrastinate. Don't procrastinate. You know, cesspool of complacency. Complacency. Don't do that. So set a goal. You know, and stay with that goal. So I say like a two, three year plan. Okay, I'm gonna go overseas. You know, by this I have my debt paid off. I have this paid off. I have this much saved off. You do that, and then go overseas and experience it. But just do your research and do your homework. Listen to Jay. Listen to you. You know, listen to various people. We need twenty thousand. You know, uh, uh, look, I'm from I'm from Memphis, so but I don't know if we need 5011. 5011 is specific for like 50,000 votes or or like or views, and we need like 40,000 likes. Y'all are BSing with look, and y'all look, y'all need to look. This dude, put it on him for a minute. He giving you knowledge. 
you need to pay this man. Look, <laughs> pay this man. Look, I, I don't just look. I do my part. If y'all did a tenth of what I did, it'd be on. But y'all are BSing <laughs> right now, getting this free credit. Pay the man. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Um, maybe part two, or maybe this is part two already. Part three, it will be because I'll definitely see him again. Thank y'all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. See y'all next video. Can you invite them, Ate, to visit your restaurant? Sino single dito, Ate? We are gonna ask, who is single here? Are you single? Yeah. <laughs> Would you date a foreigner? <laughs> if somebody, like, not date only, Ate, hindi not boyfriend, just, oh, can, can, you, can we get out together and eat in Oida? <laughs> dito yung pala <laughs> Would you date a foreigner? How old are you? 24. 24. How about you? 20. Oh, very young. That's the oldest he has to be. The oldest. 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 No, if you were going to date a foreigner or any, like, not even you know, not a foreigner, what's your age? What's your age? Age. Age. Like, how age. old or how young, you know, your age range? 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 27 to 30. Because she's only 24. How oh. about you? I am an NBS. <laughs> no boyfriend is <laughs> So how how yeah how old you can date Ate? Like how old like? <laughs> Sister no, Ate, NBSB. <laughs> Don't worry Ate, I'm also NBSB before. <laughs> We're doing interview. Thank you. <laughs>